All right, <clears throat> next thing we're going to look at uh, is uh, in evaluating cattle. Uh, is we talked about structure and angulation of the shoulder, but we also like to see smoothness of shoulder and cleanness of front end. And so we like to have cattle that they're smooth in their shoulder, they're not real bold in the shoulder, and they stick out far there. Uh, so smoothness of shoulder. Okay. We like that shoulder to continue on and tie right into the neck region of that animal uh, into one complete, I guess you could say, pass through there. We also like to see those cattle, in addition to the smoothness of shoulder, uh, we like to see those cattle with extension of the entire front end, but extension into this neck area as well. Uh, important in steers, but even more important when we think about heifers, because in heifers, longer fronted, more extended into that front end, uh, those cattle uh, tend to be a little bit more feminine in appearance. They tend to have a little more maternal look, and those cattle tend to be more fertile and more reproductively sound as we turn them out and move them into their, their later life as, as breeding cattle. We also like to look at that front end, and we like to see them relatively clean into that chest floor and the brisket area, not too much brisket uh, into the area as well. So if we look at this particular steer, He's got some smoothness of shoulder to him, uh, but could use maybe just a little more extension of neck if you wanted to criticize him uh, from a front end uh, standpoint. Again, when we're evaluating steers, smoothness of shoulders and heifers, in addition to that smoothness of shoulder and extension of neck, we're going to look at femininity and the combination there, looking at femininity of the head. And then if we step back and look at the big picture of the animal, we want that female to give that appearance of, of looking like a female, a heifer, or gonna be turning into a cow, rather than looking more terminal looking like a steer or more masculine like a bull. Next thing we look at is just balance from end to end. We try to see some, some e equal balance from, from this part of their body, the, the last third to the middle third to the front third of their body, and like to see those cattle in proportion uh, from that, that uh, angle as well. Cattle evaluation takes a little time, <clears throat> uh, takes a little practice to get to that point. Uh, my recommendation if we're evaluating cattle is uh, if you can find somebody that you know that, that has some expertise in looking at those cattle, that's a good way to start and to help you build into a point where you can go out and actually select your own. Uh, cattle, but learn. It's a it's a tool that's not learned overnight. It's not learned by a video, but it's something that you build on over time. And that's especially important when we're evaluating these young animals. And one of the hardest thing people have, one of the greatest challenges people have is trying to decide whether this calf, this steer, when at this age is going to turn out and mature into an animal that can be very competitive in a major show. And the same goes true for a younger animal, trying to decide and trying to picture out and project out how that animal will grow and develop into that mature animal. And those are some things that are acquired over time. They're acquired through feeding these cattle out and helping youth and so on.